Hi, in this video, we'll see what are the different ways by which you can filter your data. Now, I'm working in the workbook named as filters, ways to filters, and I've taken the same data source that is Global Superstore 2017. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to filter this my canvas area, this data, okay, based on some filters. Different methods are there to do a filter. This is just an introduction video for filters showing the different methods. For every method, we have a detailed video where you can see different examples which you're working on. Okay, so let's see now. What you can do is, I'll just show you this filters. The very first one is filter by shelf, filtering by interactive filters, filter by headers and filter by legends. So these are the four topics I'll show. The very first one, filter shelf. So right now if you see, I have done a sales based on the subcategory. So these are the subcategories and these are the sales which are done here. Now, if I want to filter based on the subcategories again, so I just scroll down, select this subcategory and I'll drop into this filter shelf. So this one is the filter shelf. If you see the filter shelf, select this and you can drop it on this filter shelf. The moment you drop on this, you'll get a dialog box. Okay. In this dialog box, it says it is a filter based on this subcategory. So whichever field, whichever pill you find out that will be given in this square brackets. So in this filter shelf, I can go by general wildcard condition and top. Right now, I'll just take simple example of general. So these are the options which are selected already at this place. If you see this accessories, appliances, art, these are selected. What if I want to select only five elements? I'll select this none, select one, two, three, four, five, all these five elements and I'll click on apply. So if I click on apply, if you observe, these are the five elements which I've selected. Those have been filtered out and I can see sales of only those five elements at one place. Okay. So I'll just click on this OK button and it has been done here. That is nothing but filter shell. Let us see the next one. If I want to see the filters based on interactive filters, if I want to talk to my dashboard, if I want to talk to my worksheet, how do I filter out? So same method, I'll just select this one subcategory. Now I'll not pick up and drop into this filter shelf. I'll just click on this drop down and I'll say as show filter. So if I click on this show filter, I'm getting a filter in my filters pane that is filters shelf. But also on the right hand side, if you see, I'm getting a subcategory and these are the options which are selected. So what if I want to select only five elements? I can just deselect all. I'll select one, two, three, four, five, all the five elements. Here, when I selected in the filter shelf, I was not allowed to edit directly. I had to go and edit the filter itself. But now here I can select, deselect, whatever I want, I can select interactive with the sheet itself. That is interactive filters. Same method. If you do not want, you can just simply drag it outside and the filter will be gone away. Right. Third method. If I go to this headers part, these are the same subcategory and the sales which are selected here. If I want to filter the data based on my headers, these are nothing but headers. Suppose if you want to see only for the machines, sales only for machines, you have to simply double click on the header like this, double click on this place, only machines will be given, rest all will be wiped out. With every method of filter, if you see a subcategory, it is selected as machines here, it goes into this filter pane. If you want to clear a filter, simply select this and drop it outside, the filter will go away. If you want to compare two sales of subcategories, let's say for example, accessories, and you want to select as envelopes. So if you want to select both of them, press control and click the second one. Okay. And then what you can do is you can select, you can select this option as keep only. So if you select this option as keep only, only those options subcategories will be kept and rest all will be removed from here. Okay. And if you see in the filters shelf, I've got this subcategory pill itself. Okay. If you want to remove, you can just remove it outside this place. The next one I have legends. If I want to filter out based on my legends, I can use this method. The same sales of subcategories are given. I'll pick up the market option from here. Pick up the market option. I'll put in this color part. Now my sales are been shown based on the markets. Now what exactly is markets? The market is nothing but different regions on which I'll be doing a sales. Africa, Asia, Pacific, Europe, and there's one more Latin and USCA. These are different categories which I have. Now, if I want to filter based on this market from this legend itself, you see, I'm working on this legends part. So if I select this from legend, I can select this option and I'll see as keep only. So if you see only Africa option is given. When you select Africa from this market, you observe this in the filters shelf, I'll be getting this filtering. If you want to remove, just click outside. Now, if I want to select two uh, markets, 
I'll use my mouse, select control and click on this place. Control click and then what you can do is, you can select this option as keep only. So I'll be comparing my data, my sales based on two markets that is Asia and Africa Pacific. And if you see there's only two colors, one is the yellow color and second is the blue color which I want. If you want to remove the filter, select it and drop it outside, right? So I hope you're able to understand this is just an introduction video for depending on all the filters. You can see in detail more about the other filters. That's all for this video.